Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. It's a crack it on. It's 6 6 18 a.m. 6 18. And I'm headed down to do chores. That's what I do during the week. On the weekends, I sleep in a little bit. I do chores like around between 7 and 8, depending. But during the week, I get up early. I like to be up early. I go to bed early. I get lots of sleep. That's what helps me be happy. So I thought I'd take you guys with me while we do chores this morning, while I do chores. So he's at that age where she likes to sleep in. So we have like a so we have a deal between us. I do morning chores always by myself. And then she does nighttime chores. I come down with her because I love being down here. Oh, the pig needs water. So I come down with her and I feed the baby while she does the chores. This is what happens when you are up partying all night. That's his little bed he made. In fact, everybody's kind of quiet today. Usually they're all screaming. If it's 8 a.m. and I come down here, he's chomping at the bit, let me tell you, ready for breakfast. Doesn't he look so cute? Look, he's all cuddled in his bed. So that's his crate from his old house, I think I told you guys. He has a little carpet in there and he had blankets in there. So my sister said, here, put this in his stall in case he misses home. He had never slept a single day in it. He just made a bed in the hay and I put a blanket over there for him, just a light blanket, because it's summer. Oh, he hears me. Hi. <laughs> Hi, baby. He's awful looking, like he's an ugly pig, but he still has a spirit and he still is so sweet and he's still, lovable and kind and gentle and I still love him. I was quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I could break to pieces and be left alone once more. If you hadn't been so patient, you'd be easy to ignore. You put up with all my bullshit till you didn't anymore. And now I stand here calling <laughs> Wait, get in here. So that's this posy's bed. This is Posey's bed. She could sleep in there if she wanted to. She could sleep in the hay. She's got lots of it, or the straw, but she chooses to sleep in her blankets still. Hi, Blossom. Before I can feed the baby her bottle, I have to feed Miss Mia because she likes to eat an egg. That chicken will follow me everywhere until I feed her. See? She follows me everywhere. She's like, oh, I need food too. So things that don't work for us in this barn, in this farm, that drive me insane are these doors. Every door on this property, every gate on this property, they're all awful. I like these ones to stay open. I like this to stay open. I like this to stay open during the day. Even when I try and tie it, they don't stay open and they don't stay closed. But I like it to be open during the day. But as you can see, that doesn't happen. Last one to go out every day is Posy Pig because she can't leave until she licks her bowl clean. Although it's not very clean. You ready? Come on, you're the last one to go. I put fresh water out there for you. Posy can't reach the water troughs. No, oh shoot. All right, I'm gonna have to wrangle her. 
That couldn't break to pieces and be left alone once more You got underneath the surface and you shattered every wall And I know I got that feeling, there's no question anymore And now I stand here calling at your door Oh, now I stand here calling at your door Yeah, I'm yours Anywhere you want it. Yeah, I'm yours And now we're singing 6.48 a.m. and I am done I noticed another light bulb has has blown out Goodbye, boys Little Ziggy is so attached to Winston like I don't know what's gonna happen if Winston rejoins the herd which is the plan <laughs> it's actually cool outside I'm sweating in the barn yes I know you don't like me you don't like anybody just Winston he only loves Winston but isn't he looking cute <laughs> isn't he looking so cute he's getting taller and taller I still haven't seen very much buck behavior out of him and it's only a few more months until I need him to be bucking goodbye piggy goodbye piggy over there when Sophie wakes up I'm gonna have her come down and fill that pool for the pig because it's the only way he has to cool down update on the garden you guys my battery's dying but update on the garden I got some pretty good flowers Happening these are the last two zucchini plants that I planted. They have no flowers yet, but everything's doing good that little melon bush in the middle there not so good but I brought this out so I can harvest that lettuce today But yeah, everything's looking good. Everything's growing good. Those tomatoes are getting huge Lots of tomatoes. Holy moly. This bush has way too many tomatoes Everything's looking good in the garden not even the dogs are up yet. They always get up with Sam, except for Ellie, who's been out to pee and back in because she does terrible things. She's trouble when I take her down to the barn. But everybody is still asleep. The farm is quiet. The horses aren't even out yet. It feels good, though. It feels sweaty. It's going to be a really hot day. So I may or may not have laid in the pool the whole entire afternoon. <laughs> the whole afternoon, I just something came over me. It was scorching hot outside, freezing cold inside, and I just laid in there and got a suntan. Let's see. Yep, got a sunburn. I think the last clip I shared with you guys was that I said I hadn't seen any action buck, like action from our new baby buck. Well, today I discovered that I think both of our senior does are in heat and they were rubbing that fence line like crazy and he was right there. So, something's happening, you guys. He's maturing. Wow, we're running out of hay. Hi, guys. Rip Molly. My baby buck. In the summer, the girls sometimes do chores at nighttime. Much to the dismay of all the ponies, but look at this. This just brings me happiness sitting out here and seeing all of these guys. Yeah, let's take the fly masks off. Time to come in. Yeah. Hi, Storm. You're looking cute. All the, all the ponies have theirs off. Gracie? Gracie? I know. This baby's afraid of no one. Like, it doesn't matter. She, nobody's in charge more than that. I mean, she's not the leader for sure, but she's not afraid of any leader. She thinks she's the boss of this place. She does. Look, she's <laughs> I know. She goes and stands beside all her friends. And her friends are Gracie and Lady and sometimes Willow and Penny and Storm. I love Lady, you guys. I love everything about I love you. Yeah, you know your name? Lady. Yep, see, she knows it. And they're like, just bring me the food. My heart hurts for any horse that, or any animal that's at the bottom of the herd. Yep, Gracie has no fly mask on. I feel bad for Gracie because even though her having a friend in Honey helped her kind of move up and be a little bit braver in the herd, she's still at the bottom. 
and it's just sad. She always has to be the last one. I don't know. I just want everybody to feel love, even you guys. I want all of you guys to feel love. Like, I hate the idea of somebody not, like, I, it destroys me if I think that somebody doesn't have love in their life. Not know what's going on, but they're all licking their lips. Especially Stormy Boy. Nope, that's not, I can't even keep everybody apart anymore. Lady is licking her lips. All right, it's time. They know it. <laughs> She's gonna kick Storm. Storm's like, still the boss, you guys. Stormy Knight is still the boss. Yeah. He's like, so today's video is basically going to be two sets of chores. Chores in the morning and chores at night. Blame Laura. Laura was just laying in the pool all day. I needed a tan, you guys. I just needed a tan. It's not worth fighting about, you guys. <laughs> I just needed one good tan to get me through the summer. Just to get the summer started off. Don't you be mean. Look it. Everybody thinks that my horse is the worst. She's the quietest, most well, wet, best behave over there. Waiting on your owner, Storm. She's taking forever getting your stall ready. There's Gracie, where's your fly mask? People wanna know, where's your fly mask? Everybody's watching Sophie clean her stall. The horses are still, they're like, do your chores in the morning, you guys. This is taking way too long. There goes Stormy Boy, straight to his stall like a Western pleasure boy with his head way down on the ground. Oh, lady has to get lead still? Lady has to get lead still? She knows where to go. You don't trust her yet? I have been too self-involved Been protective of my feelings But somehow you made me fall You got underneath the surface And you shattered every wall And I know I got that feeling There's no question anymore And now I stand here Carving at your door Oh, oh she's coming right back to her food bowl <laughs> She's like, why are all these people in here? Two days have been a so scorching hot, like scorching hot, but then the nights have been nice and cool. There's a breeze out there, it doesn't feel too hot. Um, once it gets like super hot and it's hot at night, we're gonna probably start leaving the horses out at night. We're just worried about their weight. And they won't be able to be on grass the whole entire time. Anyway, I'm sorry that I flaked on you guys today. I just needed I just needed this one day. And I know I keep saying that every few weeks. I just need this one day, but this is the year of joy and peace and time for Laura. Now that the kids are getting bigger, I'm just like starting to find things I wanna do on my own or with my friends or with my family because they are always with their friends and they're always doing their own thing. So that is it for today's video and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.